You saw the title, and with no dramatic effect, it's this hat right over here. But check it out. There's a piece of advice for aspiring entrepreneurs that says, scratch your own itch. Meaning, start by solving your own challenges because someone, somewhere, must experience the exact same challenges you have that they wish could be solved as well. But you might be thinking, a hat? Really? Dude, a million different hats are available everywhere. What kind of challenges could possibly justify spending over a year to think and iterate obsessively about? Let's start with the three biggest for me. Challenge one, traveling frequently, but also preferring to pack light. I need a hat that can be shoved into my bag without the worry of damage, like a creased brim or a wrinkled upper. And as you can see, this hat can even be shoved into my pockets with no worries. Pulling it back out, a firm press and pull of the brim reverts it back to normal. Challenge two is I sweat so much and so easily, it's both hilarious yet embarrassingly frustrating for me. It's so bad that the typical hats I used to wear would go from brand new to having these gross salt stains like this within a day or two. Even people who consider themselves heavy sweaters can see markedly impressive improvements with thin, breathable, and moisture-wicking fabrics like the ones found on these hats, but that's for typical heavy sweaters. If you're a full-blown sweat factory like I am, the brim construction and material choices throughout means that I can chuck this into a washing machine with the rest of my laundry anytime I want. And like the design decisions that solve my packing challenges means that I have no worries of the brim being bent in the washing machine. With the material choice itself comfortable in knowing that it'll dry quickly, whether it's wet from sweat or from being washed. Challenge three is actually for comfortable hygiene. Weird, right? This might be a bit more niche, but with frequent work trips to Indonesia and Vietnam, scooter taxis are both the cheapest and fastest option for zipping around. However, the passenger helmets are worn by countless people every single day in very hot and humid weather, and it feels gross to just go bare-haired without a liner. That's why I chose materials to offer the thinness of this hat to slip easily under any helmet. And, when combined with the short brim, it means that the brim is still long enough to provide shade to my eyes in direct sunlight, while enabling even full coverage helmets and visors to be flipped down without obstructing my view. Something that's important to me, although definitely not something I would consider a challenge, is that I don't always want to be a walking billboard for brands or even my favorite sports teams. But I also love personalization and customizability. So with a reinforced stitched perimeter hook Velcro circle on the front, I can go true incognito like this or swap with these Velcro backed patches I have designed. We've got my logo patch, but if I don't want my logo, I can swap to this ready for takeoff patch. Or if I don't mind a tiny logo, I can swap over to this airport codes patch. If you have been with me for a bit, you'll know that I occasionally also release very limited drops of themed sets of RE patches. So if I'm feeling like going warrior mode, I can do this. Or if I have my mind daydreaming in the stars, I can customize with these galactics like this. And of course, I can swap to other patches I did not design. Like when I'm in graphic design mode, I can swap out to this Adobe Illustrator homage patch by Data Crew. For anyone who has ever had a product idea and even started prototyping, you quickly realize how everything we never even think about in the things we use becomes serious points of deliberation. Take for example, the mundane adjustment system. Why go with this Velcro adjustment with this particular ultra thin anchor loop instead of say snap back or a strap and buckle? For the helmet hygiene challenge, I tried a few adjustment systems, but this was the only one that did not have any painful pressure points on the back of my head while wearing tight, full coverage helmets. Beyond that, I like speed and efficiency, so if, say, the wind becomes especially strong, Velcro enables the fastest tightening without the need to remove the cap and without the need to use two hands. In fact, the only design decision I could not decide on was the vibe I wanted, so I decided to go with two styles. The differences being the base fabric and the brim constructions. For the black flight cap, I have gone with a four-way stretch, ultra-thin, and moisture-wicking poly blend. The brim is filled with a thicker EVA foam for more structure, and together gives a much more athletic look to it overall. The navy flight cap, I've gone with a low-stretch and textured fast-drying poly blend, and the brim is filled with an ultra-thin EVA foam, while its structure is maintained with a wrapped wire for complete posability. The base fabrics and brim features gives this navy one a more stylish look. Both, however, solve the same three deepest challenges, enabling worry-free packing, machine washing, fast drying, ultra-thin sweat handling, comfortable hygiene, with fast and easy adjustments. I do gotta say, my first move was not to set out to design my own hat. 
My first move was of course to find a hat that solves all my challenges already. And having tested countless hats, evidenced by the various hats I've worn in my YouTube videos, although some came as close as 80% of the way to addressing all of my needs, none of them were perfect for all of my needs. I've just taken that lesson from the successful entrepreneurs that I look up to, and with this flight cap, have scratched my own itches. When taking on anything new, given that failure is always an inherent possibility, make sure that in any new project, beyond the work itself, set things up in a way where you are gaining new skills or new relationships, or better yet, both new skills and new relationships. Prior to this, everything I've made and sold from Spec DNT to Queen P, even to the molds of all of these patches, have been self-made at the workshop. This is precisely why this $7,000 and counting hat is worth every penny. Because even if no one else wants one, and the project itself fails, I'll always be able to take the new skills and relationships into more ideas and more opportunities into the future. That said, if you do think the flight cap scratches any of your itches, I will be launching a Kickstarter campaign for it in a few weeks, and if you want it at the absolute lowest price it will ever be, you can sign up for the secret launch email at the form linked down in the description. The secret email works like this. I will be sending one email the day before it launches that will tell you the exact time it'll launch, and a second email the moment it launches so those on the list will have the absolute best possible chance of snagging one of those limited early bird flight cap priced slots. This cap, as you saw from the challenge examples earlier, is one of the key underappreciated unsung heroes of my travels. But if you want to see what to me is the most underrated travel accessory, you will definitely want to watch this video right up here. If you're feeling lucky though, this video down here is the one for you. I'll leave them both on screen for a few seconds so you can choose which one to watch next, but while you're deciding, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop. And of course, if the flight cap might be right for you, don't forget to sign up for the early bird email down below.